Hey, Ken. Hi. I just wanted to talk to you. I know you were in my last project that I did, and I just kind of wanted to get a sense of your whole experience. I know you said you got a DUI, and just kind of want to know, like, what happened? How did you, you know, finally get caught? And, <laughs> you know, what your actual repercussions were? Um, let's see. I got my DUI last May on Cinco de Mayo. Um, I had previously known that I shouldn't be drinking and driving. Like, I've done it in the past, and, like, I've gotten away with it, and I just thought I was going from my friend's house to my house, which was basically, like, less than a mile, and I really shouldn't have been driving. It was stupid. I should have just walked. It was nice out. Mm -hmm. Many DUI arrests happen because people are simply just not thinking ahead. Many people go out after hanging with friends without thinking of how they will make it home afterwards. stupid said she wanted me to come home and pick her up or something I don't know and so I decided to get behind the wheel and um, it was my friend's car because I had asked him to drive me home and he said no like I don't want to drive like I've been drinking and I'm like he's like but you can take my car if you want he's like just be careful or whatever so I was like okay like I can do it you know it's like a couple like less than a mile away like I'll be fine All right. and um, I started heading down 9th Street and um, I decided I wasn't going to wait at the light at 9th and Lincoln for at the Sitco light. I was just going to cut through Sitco. So um, I cut through Sitco and there was a cop sitting right there and he pulled me over. A lot of times after the bars have closed, this parking lot right in front is usually filled with cars. Along with across the street, this parking lot is usually filled with cars. And also sometimes it gets really bad to where it overflows into the parking lot over there. Um, the Eastern Police usually try to do as best they can right out here in this spot up here to monitor the kids that are going into their cars and driving away, making sure they're not getting into their cars inebriated to the point where they're not driving safely and being responsible. I passed the walk the straight line test. I passed the like stand on your foot kind of test thing for like eight seconds, uh -huh. for 30 seconds or whatever, I passed that. But um, the one test that I didn't pass was I had to follow the flashlight with my eyes without moving my head. And Did um, you end up having to go to court for it? Or? Um, yeah, I've been to court a couple times for it. My lawyer, I actually had to hire a lawyer. EIU ride receiver Micah Rucker came up with the idea to start the RSO on campus after the tragic death of his girlfriend Rebecca Yeager. She was killed by a drunk driver and the anti-alcohol organization was started in 2007. RFOI meetings are held here at the Union every week and it's kind of sad sometimes walking by this building because I've been working with this group for so long and the many people that pass by you just kind of think that at least a good handful of them have had experiences directly related to somebody passing away due to drunk driving or have had experiences themselves. So like I wasn't planning on working and then it's like I had to get a job on top of school to try and pay for this what I did. And so I've been to court a couple times. My lawyer keeps getting continuances. And so pretty much... You think it's worth it? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> Drinking and driving is not worth it at all. It's a stupid decision to ever do, and I never plan on doing it again.